Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. Oh yeah, I'm um, playing through my Marshall. This is a uh, AS50D. It's an acoustic amp. It's a solid state. It's just for acoustic tones. It has no real, uh, you know, fuzz or anything funky in it, distortion or anything. It's just kind of acoustic. It's got chorus built in. Um, it's got some delay built in and reverb and stuff. It's a, it's a cool little amp. Um, it also has a XLR input, so you can uh, plug in your microphone. You can sing through it at the same time. So you can sing and play, and this is really nice for a, a one carry into a gig thing. You know, if you're doing a busking thing and you have access to power, this is a, a really good tool to use. You can pick them up used for a couple hundred bucks. I think I paid 150 for this. Um, so they're, they're pretty cheap if you look. Um, don't, I don't, I'm, I'm one to tell you not to buy um, brand new. Um, never buy brand new, always buy used. Um, that's just me and always think um, how much you could sell it for when you don't want it because uh, you may not like it. You may like it at first and you may like it for a month, but in a year you may not want it at all again. So buy all your equipment thinking ROI, return on investment. So uh, that's just uh, uh, an Uncle Mark-ism. So I've, I've bought and sold enough crap that, you know, not crap, but stuff. So this song is reggae. This is Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. This is a request. So something we need to get down with this song, it's a three chord song, easy. It's a reggae rhythm. And I've never gone through this before with you guys, but reggae has an upstroke to it. Okay, so it's... It's very, very much like how you watch a mandolin player in a bluegrass band play. He's always playing up, okay? Scratch up, scratch up, scratch up, scratch up, scratch up, scratch up. And when you pull up, I tend to pull away. Um, as opposed to coming straight up, I kind of just want to grab these two notes, the D and the G. That's just me, these first two strings. Now you can certainly grab them all and just play like this, okay? But to me, that loses the, the reggae-ish-ness of it. Um, is that even a word? That's what you want to do. So you're going to karate chop down, right? And then come up. And it, it's something to get used to, this karate chop muting. Um, it's, I know it's not easy. Um, there are a lot of techniques I use that, you know, I've learned over 45 years of playing guitars um, and mandolins and banjos and every other darn instrument there is in the planet, it seems like, with strings. And, and these are techniques that I have used and over and over and over and honed them. So I know these things are not easy. So you're kind of taking your pick, right? And you're going to karate chop at the same time that you hit the strings. <laughs> just like so, okay? And it's something you're just gonna have to practice. I can't, it, I can't teach it any more than this. Um, and that's what it is. Um, lots of reggae tunes do a so they do a down down up up down down up up and it starts getting really really complicated um reggae is a tremendously complicated rhythm with very easy chords um and i don't know why that is it just seems to be to me tremendously complicated rhythm um their drummers and bass players are uh, frankly astounding to me so imagine that, you know. Um, so we're going to play this song. The song is in A. It's Three Little Birds. It's by Bob Marley. It's three chords. The song on the album is in A. So it is a one, four, five song where A is the one, D is the four, E is the five. 
So I'm gonna play a little bit of this thing and show you how it goes. how it's played. Um, A. And there's something I do here, and I just want to explain it to you. I press down and let go on those exact moments that I'm doing this. Right? So I am actually pressing down at the point where I'm lifting up. Um, it's terribly complicated. You don't have to do that. You can simply... Notice my fingers not moving now. I'm gonna slow it down. So you can get the rhythm. The rhythm is more important than the song. Um, reggae rhythms, like I said, are very complicated. You know, so the song is an A, D, and E. But, you know, we happen to have here a G-tuned guitar. G, D, G. And we can certainly play it in G. Which is how I would do it if I was going to do this song. So, the one would be G. The four would be C. And the five would be D. Where those are. So G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C on this dot, C sharp, and D. Okay? I rise up this morning. We're going to go to the D. I rise up with the rising sun. G. Three little birds. Going to C. By my doorstep. G. Singing sweet songs. Melody pure and good C This is a lesson to you I said don't worry About a thing C Now every little thing Is gonna be alright G It's a whole song Don't worry you to work with this whether you play it in A, D, E or you play it in G, C, D. Um, it doesn't matter. What matters is the rhythm. Okay? It works in any 1, 4, 5 pattern. Something I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you this. Um, the guitar parts, the six string guitar parts on the album have octaves in them. And so you'll hear a... For those 
of you who are more advanced, you'll see that and absolutely understand it. For those still in the beginner area of the guitar, don't even worry about it. Just know that they exist, and one of these days when you start fooling around with octaves, you'll, you'll understand, and it'll be a lot easier for you. And then you can also look at my, uh, my lesson on octaves and, and how to create those patterns. So uh, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership, and uh, this is a reggae lesson using Three Little Birds, Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, as a launch point for a reggae rhythm. And we'll do some more of these. So uh, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. I do have a donation link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. I want to thank you very much for all of you that have donated. You guys are gals are just fabulous and wonderful. I love you all. Um, sharing on social media, that's huge. I really, really appreciate it. Everything you do for me is, is fantastic, and I thank you for all of it. Um, and we'll talk soon, and uh, have a good week.